Hi, this is Luo Wen. I'm introduce my MSc in Visual Project. My project name is Silicacy's Echoes of the Anthropocene, and the question I'm working on is design integrating digital and physical interfaces for immersive artistic creation. Japan began releasing nuclear waste water into the ocean this summer. As China bans the import of all seafood from Japan, this issue is becoming politicized. The release of nuclear waste water into the sea by Japan may not be the biggest concern, but the stakes are high regardless. We don't have an abundance of oceans, and once a quantitative change causes a qualitative change, the damage is hard to reverse. The right pictures show the impact on animals and humans living around the Chernobyl nuclear power plant after the accident. I can't vouch for the authenticity of these images, and I question the credibility of all the nuclear radiation research literature I can access. Some academic content might be censored or altered for being inconvenient. Thus, I can only think of the worst case scenario. Regarding this project, the question I researched is how to integrate new media technology in artistic creation to create immersive experience designs. Realizing the art theme I want to express. This stems from contemplation of a nihilistic future in the Anthropocene against the backdrop of the Japanese nuclear waste water discharge event and the creative reflection on silicon based marine life forms in a post creative evolutionary cosmic world. I am interested in combining physical installation with digital virtual world, enabling them to interact and think. Thus, creating a multisensory immersive interactive art installation, this can bring a remarkable experience to the audience and leaving an impression of my work theme so that I can achieve my creative intent. My method involves linking Arduino, Touch Designer, and Unity. I use Arduino to create my physical installation part, which is shaped like a jellyfish. The addition of LED lights, the voice, and the mini L pump, they are all bring it to life. The jellyfish becomes alert and flees when something approaches within 50 centimeters, reflected in its changing light from the white to red, widely spinning tentacles, and the rapid water flow sound. The distance data is connected to Touch Designer through its stereo module, a straightforward step. Allowing Juno to interact with Touch Designer, as shown, I am testing the control of the coral ring size in Touch Designer using the ultrasonic sensor's distance data. Next, I use Blender to model a cosmic water seabed, consisting of giant eyeballs symbolizing judgment and gaze, and a variety of mutated corals. In my concept, this represents an era of silicon-based life. I divided this scene into two styles in Unity, one representing the end of the Anthropocene and the another one is the beginning of the cosmic era. One is a white hair formed from the accumulation of dead coral skeletons, Another one is a red hill dominated by dangerous alien species. I aim to express a form of positive nihilism through the alternation of these two senses. Both are hills from one hill to another, but at least they will involve and survive. Since I use the Make OS system, I need to incorporate the OS data communication um, protocol to link Unity and Touch Designer. In this project, I use the OSD Jack library, an open source library from Kijiro, by setting the port and address in Unity script to match Touch Designer's OSD out. I link the color of the world pillar in the white skeletal scene in Unity to the color changes in Touch Designer corals due to rotation. With this, I completed the interactive linkage of these three parts. Thank mm -hmm. you.